we were talking about the close of a sale. And it's really hard to get people to do one specific thing. Craig, you tell me what that is. The one specific thing that they need to do. Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Oh, Mr. Hello, Jason. Hello, Mr. Craig. It looks like you've frozen. Yes, you're unfrozen. <laughs> Mr. Craig, what living room am I sitting in right now? And this is a TV show that you might be familiar with because... I'm really old. Is that the Brady Bunch's <laughs> living room? No. Oh, is it from that era? The opening intro starts off with whistling. Andy Griffith. Yeah. Show. <laughs> wow. I, I, that is before my time. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> For of it, Mr. Craig. <laughs> and I Mr. like Mr. Jason. Um, yeah. I like your background there. You got a band. And it I looks do. like we have um Should know. I would have to say that's Black Sabbath. That guy. Yes. Very young. Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. Are you frozen? No, you are. It is. <laughs> so, we were just talking about something that's very important. We were talking about the close of a sale. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to get people to do one specific thing. Craig, you tell me what that is. I don't, did, did we just talk about this? I well, think we did. I know. Well, the one specific thing that they need to do at the end of that, when they say their closing statement, whatever it is, is they need to shut up. Mm. Uh, and, you know, everybody knows this. You know this. Anybody listening to this knows this. This is the oldest sales thing that anybody's ever talked about. It's, you know, you say your closing statement, then you shut up. And right. if, if you've been in any heavy duty sales jobs, they'll say the first person to talk loses all this, you know, old school stuff. But at the end of the day, it's amazing because we went back and we pulled, I, I told my team, everybody take a call from today. When you, when you give your, uh, give me the account of routing number or whatever, their, their closing statement. And, and you write down the minute that, that, that you ask that question. Cause I want to listen to the call from then on because we're all good at talking to people, right? The most important thing is to create rapport. And once we've mastered that part, we can actually talk to people and make them our friends, right? You become friends with the prospect. Then now we have to get to that point where we're asking for the close. And I said, the rest of the call was, was, was taking the chessboard and putting all the pieces on it. But once you ask for the business, now you're moving pieces. Now the strategy begins. Um, because mm. what happens with a lot of people, especially young salespeople, is they ask, they get an objection, they say, okay, I'll send you the stuff, and then that's it. The call is over. And what everybody needs to get in their head is they're likely going to get some objection, and it's going to be one of five objections that they always get, always the same ones. And they need to then develop their strategy, right? This is, this is when the game starts. Once you ask for the business, now the heavy lifting comes in. Yep. And, um, but, but the first piece of that strategy, the first move with your pawn or your whatever, the horse, the horse one is called, the, the <laughs> next move is to shut up. Now, if you have the Jabra, um, what are they? The, the $300 ones, they flip the right. thing up and it gets... So we actually sat in the conference room, as basic as this is, and said, flip it up, flip it up. I'm, I'm like, I want you to practice flipping this thing up. And because it's all muscle memory, you're, you know, you mm -hmm. get excited on the phone, you forget what you're talking about, or you figure you're, what you're supposed to do. And that's why it's so important to practice. 
So we listened. I said, I want everybody to write down when that happens and send me the call. Every single call, even though we had just talked about it the, that very morning in our, in our morning meeting, every single call they said, I, and your account and routing number, and then they just vomited words out right afterwards, like just nonsensical words. One of them, you were listening to what one of them said. One of them said, all I need is your account and routing number, or if you don't want to do it now, we could figure out a different time. It's like, you yeah. actually offered told them not to, do to buy it. He and when I heard that, he actually <laughs> like, told what? them, "Yeah, if you don't feel comfortable, you know, we can just we'll just do it tomorrow." Like he kind of like told them, "Let's do it later," at, or something like that. I, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. People don't like that. On people do not like the the silence in a conversation. You never want to do that at the beginning of the conversation, right? Because if you did that at the beginning of the conversation, then they're just gonna hang up on you. But at the end of the conversation, silence is golden. Not good at the beginning. Don't ever leave any kind of silence at the very, very beginning. Very Number one rule, do not. Just keep asking questions. If they develop a, if something, if they, make, if they put the pause on and they don't say anything, say something else. And just keep, keep moving it along. But at the end, 100%, you want to create them where they have to be engaged. Silence, somebody has to say something in silence. So it's either going to be you or them. And if it's you, then you lost. You, you gave them all mm -hmm. the leverage. But if you can hold out, let them speak, they will, because it's awkward, right? Right. And they're going to give That's you a clue. They're going to tell 100%. you what they're going to tell you the real thing. Because you say, I say, Mr. Jason, all I need is your counter routing number and we can get this started. <laughs> I shut up. Now you're thinking, okay, what do I say? Right? You're right. either going to say, well, I need to talk to my wife. I need to think about it. You know, they're going to give you some kind of information. And then, you know, because, because at the end of the day, you know that it's not what they say, right? Unless they're ready to move. It's not what they, what they, what they're saying is not the true thing. And we have to move them to the true one. And, and it's either they have no money or it's too much work. Right. These are the only objections. That's right. it. Like the only true ones. Like, I'm sorry, but if you have to go talk to your wife about insurance to make the decision about whether to switch the insurance, there's something wrong with that household. Like, I don't understand. If, if you're saving money, it's a better product. There's, there is no need to talk to, to anybody about that. Right. You're an adult. Right. You can make a decision. Um, and, and you can come home and be the hero. Yep. And so, so it just is, it's, it's mind boggling that everybody accepts it. You know? And then there's email me. In. Yeah. Right. Sure. Happy to here. I'm going to, I'm going to email right now. Let me know when you get it right now. Yep. It's, you took, Let's you took away all it. their power and yeah, we're going to go over it because you're not going to print out this email and sit at the kitchen table and go through coverages with somebody that has no idea what they mean. <laughs> right. What is that going to accomplish? Right. Yep. I think overall, we always focus on objections, right? But I think overall, the, 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 the thing is this. Everybody needs to start getting you comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because if you can be uncomfortable, that's how you win. That is the mm -hmm. place that where you need to be. You need to be okay with people hanging up on you. If you're not okay with people hanging up on you, you'll never do well at this. Because it's like, why, like, talk to them. Is this something you're not interested? It seems like you're, seems like I'm losing you. Like you're not interested. I'm showing you something really great. Is this something that you're not interested in? Cause I don't want to keep calling you. doesn't make sense. Right. You have, I mean, your time is extremely valuable and my time's valuable too. So let's just, I mean, if this is something you're not interested in, let's just move on. Correct. Like why not say something like that? Like anything to the last thing you want to do is be like, oh, okay, yeah, you're, you're probably really busy. No, 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 I get it. I'll, I'll just call you later. It's like so passive. That's a horrible salesperson. Like your job is to like, your job is uncomfortable. So if you're right. making, letting the job be comfortable, you're not doing your job, right? Right. Well, they, they said that they, that was one of the objections. I'm at work, okay? And I thought, well, if you're at work Perfect. and you can't do this, this quote, then why are you answering the phone from a, from a 
encumber that you don't even right a hundred percent yeah no that's it a hundred percent like we we've closed um people that were at work we closed this dispatcher a few months ago a dispatcher on the phone and they had to keep putting us on hold <laughs> while <laughs> while they were like talking on the radio but they got it done and they said they started off with yeah i can't i'm at work but you know the agent walked them along through the whole process they ended up buying so i mean the it's like kind of like what are people saying don't take what they're saying take what they're doing so if they yeah. are answering the phone they are open to the idea of a conversation from a number they don't know like they're answering yeah. the number and it probably says potential spam like i'm <laughs> sorry if you're taking that call you're ready to make you're ready to make a move yep it's insane it's insane I, have you had a surgeon answer the phone while they're in surgery? No. You were yeah, thinking please. I was going to say yes, but I said Well, no. we haven't either. I, uh, if anybody has, <laughs> please email us, um, admin at iDudes.com, and we can take a look at that. We'd like to hear that story. Yes. Hmm. But has but. Fun recording of any conversation. Send it in. Yeah, we can edit out some of the 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 details, and if it's funny, we could we could post it in here. Well, you know, we could we could play a call if the technology permits, and we could uh, go through it, see what we think. Just an idea. I like that. Yes. Mr. Same Craig, place. You have all the ideas. You're an idea yeah, man, Mr. Craig. None of the execution. None of the execution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think uh, I think this was a coffee talk. I think that um, you're right. There's only a few objections when it comes to what we're doing, and I think it's very important that we go over those so that it's muscle memory. I also think it's important that everybody gets used to hearing no's. Right, because the ninety-five percent are no's. So get used to it, but also get used to being uncomfortable. Put let yourself be in a position where it is uncomfortable, because you have a way better chance of winning than if you're than if you're talking people out of it. Because I can yeah. guarantee you that, you know, the the natural intuitive thing to do is to let people go and and to be super courteous on the phone, like <laughs> we do with our family or whatever. But when it comes to it, it's still being courteous. I mean, dude, you're working. I'm working. If this is something you're not interested in, let me know. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. To me, that's more empathetic than going, yeah, no, this is great. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Like, what a waste of time. Mm. You know? Yeah. They took the call. They went through the whole conversation. Now it's just time to sign up. Everybody's scared of making a decision. All you got to do is help push them over the edge. And, you know, all of these things that you hear – likely are just a band-aid covering the true objection, which is it's too much work. I don't know what to do. Right. There's a, I think I've talked about it on a different one, but there's a billboard here in town the, the, for a company that we don't like that. Um, it says we make it easy to switch. Like they didn't guess that that was the right thing to put up there. That wasn't a guess. Right. That was millions and millions of dollars of market research to come up with the number one true objection and they're answering it before it even happens. They're preempting it. So, uh, you know, that, that's what we, we work on a lot is, is how do we move them from the fake objection to the true one, which is it's too much work. And that's what we yep. have to help the prospect arrive to that conclusion. When they arrive to the conclusion that it's not too much work. That's their objection. It's over. Game yep. over. So anybody match. If anybody's listening to this and likes the podcast at all, A, please subscribe. B, please share with a friend. We're trying to get more and more insurance dudes involved with taking review. their agencies to the next level, right? We can review so just, it too. Yes, we can review it. But join, like share. Please share the podcast. Please, please. Yeah, yeah share that. Thing. Um, share that bad yeah. boy. We are oh. literally the number one insurance podcast in the world right now. I don't know if that's something. And we're huge in Greece. Huge. <laughs> I 
<laughs> We're all greased up. All greased up. You know, did you tell them about the swag? Oh, the we coffee do. Coffee Talk coffee mug is fire, and you can get a red right. one. Yellow you one. You like the red Yellow. one? I got the, I ordered the red one. I did. Nice. Yeah. I love it. I'll be here uh, in about a week. Very excited. I think you have some stuff coming uh, on the way. Um, insurance dude shirt, and we have the insurance dude that shirt. That's going to be, that's fire. I, I did see that there were some. Yes. Some uh, people that were very excited about it. I'm excited about it. I think you saw me. <laughs> I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> Are so, you going to get the socks? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the fence on the socks. I'm not sure. They, they may be good. <laughs> or Dude, the beach towel. The beach towel could be pretty much uh, a winner. Pretty cool. much a winner. Well, all right. Two to lose. Two to lose. Let's get this over to the uh, editing room. See ya. Hey, you've got to check out the Insurance Dudes Inner Circle coming soon, where you get extended interviews as well as live coffee talks in our private Facebook group. Join the mailing list today at theinsurancedudespodcast.com. Hey, thanks for checking out the Insurance Dudes. Hey, please subscribe. We got some really great stuff coming out.